Hello and welcome back to another video. I haven't made a video recently because I had, I'm having a bit of TV trouble so I can't really uh, record anything. So, yeah, but what I can record is PC stuff, so here we go. Um, if you uh, are currently using Pokemon Home on your Nintendo Switch and on your mobile devices, if you, uh, for a limited time uh, only, uh, you uh, can if you deposit a Pokemon from Pokemon Sword or Shield into Pokemon Home on your Nintendo Switch, and if you have your Nintendo um, ID linked to your to the mobile the mobile version of Pokemon Home, you will get a hidden ability: Score Bunny, Sobble, and a uh, Grookey. Um, in your uh, mi in uh, your gift box under mystery gift, uh, um, uh, and if you have Pokemon ho Home on your mobile devices, you can see this in the news. We see the um, yeah, we see the group here and score when he's starting at uh, one p.m. UTC on Tuesday, June second, twenty twenty. Now that's been and gone already. Um, and I've already uh, claimed mine. You'll be able to receive a Grookey, a Score Bunny, and a Sobble, each with their hidden ability via the Mystery Gift menu, mobile device version of Pokemon Home. You'll be eligible for these gifts if you transfer any Pokemon between your Nintendo Switch version of Pokemon Home and Pokemon Sword and uh, po or Pokemon Shield after the starting time. Note, uh, you can claim your po the Pokemon you've been gifted uh, it from the gift box. Oh, actually, it might not be a limited time only. It might just be... Yeah. yeah I think that's actually... Uh, I don't think it gave an end time, but yeah. Uh, you can get um, the hidden abilities. So, I've quickly ripped up some uh, sets. Um, and I've even gone through, like, damage calculations uh, with the type of moves they use and damage counts to see... Um, how much damage they do, so, yeah, um, I put a tape bit of work into this, so, first we have a Wangu, a Rillaboom, not a Wangu, Rillaboom, um, it's a hidden ability, is Grassy Surge, which isn't amazing to be honest, on switching the Pokemon sets up Grassy Terrain, now I was thinking, I know, this could be a support set, for a uh, grassy uh, terrain uh, team. But unfortunately Rillaboom does not get any real support moves. It doesn't like get heal pulls. It doesn't really get um, help. It doesn't get a helping hand. It doesn't really get anything that helps. It will help it bulk up. Well it gets bulk up. But it, it, and drain punch. But that's pretty much it for. To help it sustain. You know stay on the field for longer. So I just went. I was like. Well, let's just get in and have it do some damage. Body press and uh, body slam. That's fighting and normal type. So you got most of your uh, you've, you're at least hitting uh, most things neutrally apart from ghost. Drum beat for the goat and darkest area. You've, so you've got grass, fighting, normal and dark. Max out t attack and the, the defense because HP is already pretty good. So I thought, yeah, hey, just put it into defense. Uh, why is that impish? I meant to do adamant. Uh, adamant, you know, just like, uh, have, uh, uh you're decently bulky. Um, at least physically don't get hit by anything on the special side. Um, and just like, hit hard. Um, that's basically it. Are you, which, um, I don't think Grassy Sage will change up how it's used too much, but it'll be a nice boost to... Uh, beat drum beating. Um, so yeah, oh, lowest target speed by one. That's nice. Um, and we will be going by Pokédex order here. Cinderace, on the other hand, is a lot more <laughs> interesting um, than Rillaboom. As you can see here, I've got like three set different sets, um, and each one has strengths and weaknesses. So this first one, Life Orb, uh, Libero, Liberio, which is basically Protean. Um, max speed, max attack, you know, you could go for Jolly or Adamant on these sets. Um, it really just depends on the metagame, whether, uh, you know, who's, who's going to be outspeeding you and who you're outspeeding. Um, and same for the item. Um, Pyro Ball, High Jump Kick and Iron Head. 
Those three moves remain the same throughout all three of these sets. Like, uh, you will always want to run Pyro Ball, High Jump Kick, and Iron Head, or at least Fire, Fighting, Steel. Uh, because uh, uh, those three types complement to each other really nicely with uh, what well, they hit super effective and don't. Like, um, fairies resist fires and uh, they're fighting, so you have a uh, steel, I had uh, no, steel uh, type attack uh, um, for the fairies. Uh, um, but, like, fire resists steel, so you have, like, um, high jump kick for that. Um, also, Zen Headbutt would work, so depending on what Pokemon you're fighting. Uh, um, you have uh, uh, them. Um, and it, uh, like Psychic resists fi uh, fighting, so you have like Fire and Steel and uh, you know, those two for that. Um, well, I have the um, type effectives here. So, for this set, uh, there are zero Pokemon that will be immune to it. Nine Pokemon will resist you. 419 will be hit neutrally. And 601 Pokemon will be hit super effective. Now, you, you may be saying, wow, that's really good. You have zero Pokemon that are immune to your attacks. How much better can you get? Um, and you're also getting stab on all of these. Well, if we go to the second Cinderace set, you do not want an item on this, because, or, or at least on a, a consumable item, because Acrobatics uh, only has 55 base power, but it power doubles if you have no health item. So yeah, you're going to want a consumable or something um, to power up Acrobatics, um, or just have no item. Um, this one, uh, also if you want the Pokemon who uh, resist the first set, it's Slowbro, Slowpoke, Mega Slowbro, Stami, Slowking, Victini, Damanatan Zen Mode, Delphox, and Bruxious. Uh, Bruxious. Um, but yeah, for this one, um, for this set, zero Pokemon are immune, zero resist, 445 are hit neutrally, and 584 hit are hit super effective by this Cinderace. So, yeah! It, this it is probably going to be one of the hardest Pokemon to switch into, because with this set, the best you're going to get is um, being hit neutrally. By this Cinderace, um, so you're gonna want something that that can uh, tank a hit, outspeed it, and uh, then uh, one shot it, which isn't going to be easy with that 119 base speed. Um, Inteleon has 120, so you could switch in Inteleon and uh, take it out um, uh, if you're lucky. Um, but, yeah, there ain't many Pokemon that will be outspeeding um, Cinderace. So you have Z uh, Ninjask, which isn't too ever uh, used too often. You have Zacian, um, with Crowned, which is a legendary. You have a Selgor, which isn't seen too often. Zero Aura, which is OU, so... Uh, Uber N U R U O U. So zero or might uh, be something you might want to have like a ground type on the, the you know in the back to switch into zero over. Uh, Dragapult outspeeds you, which you know uh, you might want something to deal with it, that. Uh, Zacian and Zamazenta outspeed you, um, which again they're Uber. Uh, Baris Barascu. Da, Barascuda, uh, is how you borderline, uh, Eternatus is Uber, Mewtwo is Uber, Jolteon's Enu, Zamazenta Crowned is Uber, uh, Weavile is UU borderline, and I don't think it's going to one-shot you because you resist ice, uh, well if you, if you, if you use the fighting type move then you resist both ice and dark, 
Marshadow is Uber. Rabonbi is you, you. Noivin is you, you. Boland is uh, you. Doug Trio is you, you. Intellion is are you borderline. And then every, everything else, you outspeed from there on. Halucha, outspeed. Like, Salazzle, Wimscott. Like, you might want to keep an eye out for, like, uh, one of these being scarfed. But other than that, you outspeed pretty much everything else. Uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. You are the 20th fastest Pokemon. Like, seriously, top 20 fastest Pokemon with no Pokemon like t can even resist your attacks. Yeah, that's pretty damn powerful. Um, but again, you do you have the fact that you cannot hold an item. Um, now for this final Cinderace set, you know how we so you get an item. So you know how there's only 445 that are normally affected, and 584 that are super affected by the last set, and again none that even resist or immune. This one have no have no Pokemon that resist or immune it, but it has uh, uh, it now has 634 Pokemon that it is super effective against, 395 that is it is normally effective against. Um, so yeah, you by switching out to, um, Acrobatics or Sucker Punch, you get an item and that uh, you hit more Pokemon super effective. Well, the problem with this is that the it, uh, Cinderace gets only gets two dark type moves. Those are Sucker Punch and Assurance. Now, if you you could probably do some funny stuff in double battles with Assurance, where um, you have your Pokemon like use Bullet Punch on the uh, on the opponent to break its sash or something, or something like that, and then use Assurance to finish it off. Um, but Sucker Punch. Without assurance being boosted, does about 10% more damage, which basically means Sucker Punch's lowest possible damage is Assurance's highest possible damage. Um, so, but you do have the drawback of Sucker Punch only being usable if the opponent is about to attack you, but let's be honest, that's not too much of a drawback there. Like, like yeah not too much of a drawback and it also gets priority um again you could run jolly or admin because again there's really not many pokemon that's going to be outspeeding you and of course you could always run uh choice band or choice scarf um with this so like uh come in like get a few hits um and there's also um something here that i'm not a big fan of but uh you could also run U-turn so it's like uh, come in U-turn come in and U-turn out you could do that but I don't like it because um, if we go here you have fire fighting steel bug uh, where is it fire fighting steel and bug you do have 30 Pokemon that do resist your attacks um, now you do to uh, you know you do have like pre evolutions like Litwick, Shan, uh, Lampent, Salazzle, um, Skrelp, Fletchling, uh, Fletchinder, Wingle, Mantag, Ducklet, Frillish, um, Quillfish, um, and Tentacle, which you probably won't see, but there's still like Talonflame. Oh. My, Marini's a um, Toxapex, or um, Blue Cephalon, Salazzle, Ho Oh, Moltres, Charizard, and Mega Charizard Y, who are um, who do resist it and are decent Pokemon, if not very good. And you also have Gyarados, which is quite popular. Um, so yeah, there are some uh, popular Pokemon that will resist your attacks. Um, so you might want to have something in the back for that, but yeah, U-turn is a valid option, uh, but I would not suggest it uh, myself. 
Um, I would uh, definitely suggest um, keeping uh, with either Sucker Punch, using either like Sucker Punch, Zen Headbutt, or Acrobatics. Um, and I feel like Acrobatics would be really cheesy with like um, a berry or some sort of consumable item. Um, like mental air ball power, maybe or something. I don't know. Lucky hell is not consumable. Absorbable? Maybe. Like switching on a water type uh, just to get the uh, free switch in. Use absorb, you know, absorbable ball, but get the free switch in. Uh, it doesn't really matter about the special attack being raised. Um, but you get the free switch in, you lose your item, you use like acrobatics or whatever will be uh, most effective against it, uh, and then it'll probably knock it out, or air balloon, maybe, very, you know, um, blunder policy, maybe, maybe blunder policy shenanigans, um, Nah, not eject, but red card maybe. Uh, red, red card. Switch out the opponent. Uh, then I'll act. Then, I, then you'll get the acrobatics boost or a focus, focus ash, maybe. Uh, basically any um, any um, mo any. Uh, item that is consumable will work with this. Um, so, on to Inteleon, my personal favourite out of the three, uh, closely followed by Cinderace and I do like Gorilla Boom, but none of these are my absolute all-time favourite uh, starters. Um, but yeah! Inteleon, a uh, sniper. Um, it's not an exclusive ability. You know what it does. It increases crit hit damage uh, multiplied by 1.5. Eh, not the worst. Um, I think there was actually um, a like. I think it was either Kingdra or something. Uh, something on the horsey line. That used uh, sniper to get like and like focus energy and stuff to have a hundred percent crit chance or something. So you could do the same with this. Um, but uh, it's not quite as overwhelmingly powerful because you're going to have to use scope lens to increase crit hit ratio by one stage, focus energy to increase crit hit ratio by two stages. So you're basically increasing it by three stages. Um, so you basically got a 100% chance of critical hitting. Uh, well then you've only got three moves. Ice Beam, Scald and Shadow Ball. Um, also, uh, pretty much just a special version of uh, Cinderace. Speed, Special Attack, Modest or Timid, whichever one you want to run. Uh, again, uh, Italian's the 19th fastest Pokemon in the deck, so you might want to go timid, you might want to go modest, whichever one uh, you feel like running really. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, so like we had Cinderace who basically had, there was no Pokemon that even resisted it, there was no Pokemon who was immune to it. Um, so, Ice, Water, Dark um, isn't quite as good. So, Water, Ice, Dark. No, wait, was it dark or was it ghost? No, it was ghost, wasn't it? Um, yeah, ghost. Yeah, um, a Pokemon that aren't uh, very effective. No Pokemon are immune, so that's that's a good thing. There's no Pokemon that uh, will just straight up be immune to an attack. Uh, 489 normal effective, 532 super effectives, and it's mostly just like normal water and dark water types. Well, yeah, those are the only two types that will resist you. One of them's Caravana, 
and uh, yeah, the rest. Um, Sharpedo um, isn't too common on the Mega Zant in the game anymore for now. Quadrant's not too common. Uh, B Battle's not common. Greninja though is very common. I don't know if Ash Greninja's in the game. I, I don't know about that. But yeah. Um, Greninja is definitely something to be cautious about. It's not usually seen without protein. But you know, Greninja's something to think about. Um, with this set. Um, but yeah, not exactly the best. Well, it's pretty damn good being as you hit, n like, more than 99% of Pokemon, at least normally. So, it's pretty good. Um, uh, my only uh, gripe with this set is, uh, with Inteleon, is that it doesn't get too much coverage. Uh, if we go into here, special, and just look in for, look, uh, filter for special moves you have air slash yeah, not not too bad so say we replace ghost with flying um go replace ghost with flying you do reduce that to four and then the only pokemon that resists you is chinchow and lantern empoleon and rotom wash and rotom wash is a very common uh, pokemon in ou um but you know, you could have something in the back to for Rotom Wash. So maybe um, Air Slash if you want to give up. Uh, I think you're giving up five base power though. Uh, oh yeah, Shadow Ball has eighty. Air Slash has seventy five, and it has ninety five accuracy. But it does have that thirty percent chance to flinch. So like, you get the flinch and the crit. So like, yeah, your opponent would just be super salty. That could be some funny stuff. Uh, Dark Pulse. I think Dark Pulse is actually where uh, Dark is actually worse than Ghost because I think. Yes, uh, yeah, 14 not very effective. Um, so, yeah, uh, you have Weather Ball, which could be normal, fire, you know, whatever the weather is. So, uh, yeah, and it's, it's not that good because, again, it's only, it's fi only 50 power, so I wouldn't really uh, plan on using it. Uh, Hydro Cannon, Hyper Beam, uh, Okay, and uh, let's see Hyper Beam. Uh, if we wanted to, if we was, if we wanted to use Hyper Beam, we would have one no effect, three not very effective, and six. Yeah, so you are basically Shed Ninja. Yeah, if you don't want to hit Shed Ninja, then maybe just like Hyper Beam. But uh, you know, I'm not t too keen on that myself. Uh, Muddy Water, Mud Shot. Snip oh sniper shot instead of scold maybe. Yeah, scold has the same power. Wait. What about uh high crit hit ratio cannot be eh, maybe if you wanna like switch scold out for snip sniper shot. Um Yeah Swift Not that good. Um, yeah, that's my main problem with, um, Inteleon is uh, that, uh, um, it just la it's just a bit lacking in coverage, so, yeah, I would, so you, your options here is either, uh, probably gonna be, um, Air Slash, or Shadow Ball, which... Yeah, I'd probably go for Air Slash, um, to be honest. Yeah, Air Slash seems a bit better. Probably. Um, again, you do you do have the 5 power and 5 accuracy reduction, so that is something to take into account. Um, and you, but you do, you do basically have the Pokemon that resist you. Well, you, yeah, wait and wash. Yeah. Um, and I wouldn't really go for, like, Hyper Beam because you do have to recharge. Um, and you're basically adding... You're taking away one uh, 
resistance for a no if for a immunity trading resist Rotom was resisting you for an, for uh, Shit Ninja being immune to you. Um, so yeah. Um, I would definitely uh, uh, su right. Would I suggest uh, using any of these? Definitely Rillaboom, it, but only if um, you are using a grassy, you know, a grassy surge team. You know, like a team that rely, you know, need, depends on having uh, um, the grassy terrain set up. If you're running that team, then yeah, definitely use Hidden Ability Rillaboom over normal Rillaboom. Uh, but other than that, I don't really, really see the point of running the, uh, you know, Grassy Surge uh, Rillaboom over Overgrow Rillaboom. Because Overgrow, uh, for offensively, is just a bit better uh, if, you, if you're using Grass type moves. Um, Cinderace, I, yes, definitely use uh, li li Libero over Blaze. Because Libero gives you stab on every type, um, which is uh, basically what uh, Blaze does. But to, um, well, Bla Bla Blaze boosts fire type moves more than uh, Libero boosts all types. But again, that's only fire types, and only when you're at one third HP. Libero boosts all types at all time. Um, Inteleon. Is definitely worth looking at, at least. Uh, maybe with some support, like have a follow me, use uh, get focus energy up, or you know, just you could probably do some cool stuff with uh, sniper Inteleon. Um, uh, I and yeah, I think uh, uh, sniper Inteleon could definitely um, be. Uh, quite good. Um, we'll have to see. If, if you can get that focus energy up, then I think you have a have a good chance of just like destroying a lot of your opponent's team. But again, not everybody. Again, you ha you do have those four Pokemon that resist you. Granted, only three of them you'd ever probably see because Chinchou's a uh, pre-evolution. But and Lantern's not too common. But it will hit you super effective. Empoleon, not too common, but Rotom is quite common and it hits you super effective. So, yeah, it really just depends on how the meta game goes. But I definitely think all three of these are usable. Um, I don't believe uh, Rillaboom should be. Yeah. Rillaboom, are you Rillaboom? Maybe. I think, I think it goes, oh, you. U U I. I think Rillaboom should be in U U. I think in telling on that it should be in at least U U borderline. And Cinderace definitely deserves to be in U U. Um, but I don't know. I don't, I'm not too. I don't know the meta games off the back of my head. But yeah, um, these Pokemon, they're definitely not bad starters. And I like how and um, Game Freak is starting to go more in the direction of giving us good starters because. Like if you look in the uh, in the past, Gen One, there's no real standout starters apart from like Mega Charizard Y. Gen Two, none of the starters really stand out competitively at all. Gen Three, you have Blaziken, and Swampert was Mega Swampert was good in main, uh, and regular Swampert was inherently good because of its typing. Uh, Gen Four, um, you had Infernape, which was competitively good, but again, it sort of had a bit. It was still not super good. Um, Gen 5 had no super good Pokemon apart from Hidden Ability uh, Superior, which was never released. Gen 6 had Greninja. Gen 7 had... Uh, well, actually, I think Delphox is underrated. Um, I think Delphox is a decent, sweet... Uh, sweeper. Uh, Gen 7 had nothing really. I mean, Incineroar. Yeah, pretty much just Incineroar. Um, and 
yeah, Gen 8, I think all of these are at least usable. I, I think Inteleon, I don't know if it's quite OU, but I know it's, it, I definitely think it's UUBL. Uh, and Rillaboom, probably UU. And yeah, Cinderace definitely OU with basically protein. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, what do you think of the uh, status? Do you think uh, any of them should be in a higher tier, lower tier? Do you think these uh, abilities are better than Overgrow, Blaze, and uh, 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 Torrent? Or do you uh, think that uh, Overgrow, Blaze, and Torrent are better than these than their hidden abilities? Um, and can you think of any uh, cool sets that I didn't think of? Like. Um, I think acrobatics is probably the most interesting out of these because um, you just have a big list of like berries and consumables that that it'll work with. So just like um, I don't know, or and you also have like weakness policy. You have like blunder policy. You know, you have some uh, you have some stuff that uh, you could probably um, come up with uh, some uh, uh, funky sets with. Uh, but other than that, these are mostly straightforward, like, um, Inte because of Inteleon's lack of coverage, your pre your, your two options are pretty much, um, this set with either Air Slash or Shadow Ball, depending on which Pokemon you want to hit, uh, neutrally and super effective or not, um, and then, and then, uh, Timid, I think it's Timid, yeah, Timid or Modest, um, Cinderace is a bit more um, varied. Uh, you you know you have acrobatics, you have sucker punch, or you have Zen headbutt, which is enough to throw your uh, opponent off uh, because it's just like each one will have sh uh, different strengths and weaknesses. So, there's, so um, you uh, that's something. And again, these two literally nothing resists these two. Um, So, yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next video, bye-bye!